Uh, my name's Jen Mills uh, from Mills Brewing, co-owner uh, with my husband Johnny Mills. Uh, we're from Barclay, which is near Bristol in England. Uh, we, everything we do is fermented in oak barrel for at least a year, between a year and, and 18 months. Um, minimal intervention from us. Uh, we do spontaneously fermented beers. Um, and anything that isn't spontaneously fermented is fermented with our house wild yeast culture that we keep and we feed and yeah. Where does the inspiration for this and why did you pick this particular style? Did you see a demand or a need? Or? No, we didn't know whether there was much of a market in the UK for, for what we're doing. Um, lots of Belgian beer and American beer of this kind of style is, is popular, but we had no idea when we started. The reason um, is because it's just the most interesting style for us, um, something that we can just learn, you know, forever and ever and ever. Um, uh, it's personally my favorite taste as well. Uh, yeah, just the most interesting. We built it up very slowly. We didn't start with any money, uh, so we've worked other jobs and just gradually build, buy a barrel each time we can. Um, yeah, and the plan is just to have a slightly more frequent output, but just keep it, the two of us working there, and yeah, just, just more of a lifestyle than a, you know, making, you, you can't make lots of money, there's no point in that being your, your goal. So it's just. Spontaneous brewing, is it the Belgian style, or is it more the American wild style, or do you try everything? Yeah, everything. We try, obviously we're massively inspired um, by the Belgian style mainly. Um, yeah, it's it's along the same lines. Our cool ship is <laughs> it's just basically a steel drum, um, so nothing fancy at all. But it's the same concept, yeah. What do you think will Brexit cut off you off from the European market or harm your market? Or is the um, market mainly the UK? At the moment, it's the UK, um, and uh, yeah, at the moment we can't actually make enough for for that market. But we would like to spread a bit further regardless so um, yeah the idea was maybe in a year's time to, to export to to Europe um, so we'll see but hopefully it won't I mean yeah I don't know we're anti-Brexit <laughs> and for the this beer festival Brexit beer festival this is your second year which is highly unusual to get invited twice again yeah. because people really liked it last yeah time. it was really flattering I mean we were yeah flattered to be here the first time um, and a bit nervous, but yeah, it's a wonderful, and it's actually my favorite beer festival. Uh, really nice and chilled out and lovely atmosphere. And they treat you very nicely as well, the, the organizers, so yeah, it's good.